Hi, guys! We've got a slight hitch. Sammy volunteered to bring me the materials for the house. Uh, sorry, Susan. I couldn't find steaks in the right size. <laughs> really? I bet you were eating candy. Am I right? Uh, that's not mine. I've been framed. Fine, Sammy. I'll pretend I didn't see anything. Sue, wait. How are we gonna build a treehouse without having the main thing? You mean a house? I mean a tree. You figured that out, Sammy. I completely trust you. That's quite a task. I need to think it over. Guys, while Sam's thinking, let's speed up the process a little. <sighs> Sammy, you need some help? Not yet, but I think I've got a brilliant idea. You'll see. He's so mysterious today. I wonder what he came up with. Our house will need walls. Let's start with the first one. Sue, I found magic beans! Um, Sammy, are you sure these beans are magic? Of course! First of all, they're in a beautiful baggie. Why put simple beans in this? Second of all, check out what I found next to it! I bet it grew with the help of these beans! Sammy, that's a piece for our tree house! And the beans must have been left over from our last magic party. Eh, and I had my heart set on that! What a failed plan! Oh, don't worry, Sammy. I'm sure you'll come up with a new one soon. <laughs> this time it's totally gonna work. How quick his mood changes. Okay, in the meantime, I'll show you some magic tricks. Perfect! Well, the wall is ready. Now we can put in the window. I've already prepared the storm shutter with a hinge. We'll set it up right away. We should carefully place it in this opening. Okay. Add some drops of glue, like that. And secure it with another wooden stick piece. I assembled the opposite wall pretty much the same way. Only here we have two windows. It's pretty easy. Now it's time for the wall with the door. Sammy, is everything okay? I shouldn't have climbed that old tree. Guys, don't try this at home. Sammy, why don't you take a break from your mission and help me? Tell me, what do you think is missing in our house? A roof, of course! And I know what we can make it from! Oh, I hope your idea is safe and visible. Go ahead, Sammy. <laughs> I'll be right back! Great! Now we'll finish with the inside part of the wall in a matter of seconds. Okay, now we just need to make this wall sturdier. Here we go! And what about your grand plan? We still need the roof, remember? Voila! Perfect! Check out this beautiful door, guys! I prepared everything! Look! What would you do without me, huh? I think a roof made of the sticks you've got will be too rickety. Got it! I'll fix that! While Sam's away, I'll do a trick. I'll secretly show it to you. <laughs> there! Susan! What? I don't know what you're talking about, Sammy. <laughs> Alrighty. Fine, we could use a little bit of magic. <laughs> if you say so. Watch this. Sue, what about the walls? Just a moment. There. I've applied the wood stain to all the walls. Now the wood color looks richer. Be careful with the glue, guys. By the way, Sammy, did you find a way to make our roof sturdier? Yes. We'll use some tiles. Uh-oh! Sue, be careful with the glue gun! I will, Sammy. Okay, now we can put all the parts of the treehouse together. Hurry up! Connect them before the glue dries. Okay, good. Carefully press it. Sammy, I can't concentrate. Can you keep it down? Okay, Sue. I'll try. Sue, what is this? This is an oven. And we're gonna cover it with these wooden tiles. Be right back! Check it out, Sue! I'm a real gardener! Wow, Sammy! You're even a wonder gardener! How did you… What? Uh-huh! I've discovered your secret, Sammy! Well, you didn't have to cover me in the dirt for that, Susan! Hey, this way you'll be covering the oven with the towels forever! Let me help you with that! <laughs> Go ahead, Sammy! Guys, look! The second wall is almost ready, too! Thanks for the help, Sam! <laughs> Cool, but it still doesn't look like an assembled oven. 
To finish putting it together completely, we need more tiles like these. Phew, maybe we'd better use them this way. They could make a cool Jenga. <laughs> Sammy, you're sabotaging the construction. How can we finish building this way? Sorry, Susan. I'm sending you lots of hearts. Forgive me. Whoop! <laughs> so true. Of course. I'm not mad at you, Sammy. Actually, I could really use your help. You've made a great choice. Because I'm the best assistant in the world. Sammy, our house needs a fence. Figure out how to make one. Got it. On it. Guys, I'm using hot glue to secure the tiles. Be very careful with it. Weren't you supposed to make a fence? The fence can wait. There's no oven without a chimney. Yeah, I can't argue with that, Sammy. Here we go. Wow, it's so high. Now let's cover the oven's roof with tiles. Hey, Sue, did you finish? I want to tell you something. Just wait one second. And done. Sammy, what you doing here? I'm here to challenge you to combat. Defend yourself. <laughs> Is this a new game? Okay then, challenge accepted. Uh, Sue, what you doing? Sue, did you try to close me inside the house? <laughs> I guess I won without any weapon. That's unfair, Sue. I'll complain to the Crafters Alliance. Come on, Sammy, I can cheer you up. Holy cannoli! Susan, we're at the finish line. Let's keep going! This goes here. Ooh, it came out really nice. Now we need to cover it with some wood stain. I guess you kinda rushed through that. The roof's still not finished. We need to fix this. You're right, Sammy. I totally forgot about it with that combat of yours. Then let's call it a draw. Yippee! Here we go. One. Two. One more, Susie! The house is almost ready. Where's the platform? Right here. Apparently your eyes are tired from all the hard work. Careful! <laughs> what would I do without you, Sammy? Let's place the house here. Now we'll put the fence. The longest part goes here. <laughs> Sammy, is that you? What are you doing? The more interesting the decor is, the better! Get your head out of the clouds, Sammy. Let's get real. Hop. Sorry, Susan. Take this as an apology. A branch instead of flowers? That's something new. Sammy, while I'm busy with the stairs, can you finish making the tree for our house? That's exactly what I'm doing. I won't even need magic beans. I have some stuff here. Our tree will look very realistic. Hmm, Sammy, did you know that they really used moss for decor in ancient China? No, but I know there are 20,000 types of moss. Can you imagine that? <laughs> That's an interesting fact. Are you sure we can make a tree out of this junk? Grinthicus planticus tree appearinticus! Whoa! Awesome! Sammy, that's fantastic! You bet it is! You're a real landscape designer! Hail the great Tibidaba! This tree is perfect! And now let's fly! Woo! <laughs> Our house is landing in the right spot! Done! We'll fix this now. Let's set this staircase. Carefully. There. Awesome! <laughs> what a big staircase, Sue! I love it! Sue, can I live here in the summer? Sure, Sammy. You can do anything. Whee! Holy cannoli! Let's take a look at the house in all its glory! everyone! Sam's got a brilliant idea! We're going to make a real hotel for fairies! A fairy hotel! Oh hi guys! 
Right, these jars will form the basis. Let's glue them together. Don't forget to be careful working with the hot glue. The jars have different shapes and dimensions. This way, the hotel's going to look like one in a fairy tale. Sam, what are you doing? Phew! Cardboard pieces, of course. Yeah, Sammy can cut cardboard with his eyes closed. We'll use these parts to make the roof and the walls. Yeah, no, Sue, it doesn't look so fairy for now. Oh, Sammy, don't worry. Your fairies will definitely stay at our hotel. This is just the base. We've got a lot of work to do. Da 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 da. Oh, I got it. We're gonna cover it with cardboard and then color. No, Sammy. This craft is something between sculpture, architecture, and art. I'm telling ya, it's just the base for the fairy house. It's very important to make it stable. One thing at a time, all right? Just please don't get ahead of yourself. You captured my attention. I'm gonna cut more cardboard. It calms me. Yeah, Sammy's kind of on edge today. By the way, you can help him calm down with a thumbs up. Give one. Sam likes cutting, and I like gluing cardboard pieces together. One petal next to another, this way. I've almost finished making the roof bases for this tower. Yeah, I cut these for the towers. Look, I'm a magician. <laughs> Sammy, you're a dreamer. But these cones are perfect. Let's glue them on the towers. Our hotel's base is almost ready. Let's add some glue on the jar's cap. This way. Good. And attach the cone roof. Now we're going to do some art magic. You're beating around the bush, Sue. Not at all. What do you know about sculpture, Sammy? It's sculpted. Oh, the cannoli! I got it like sculpt! Guys, to make this craft, we'll need paper clay and these tools. Sue, it's even better than I imagined. A real stone house. Exactly. Let's get started. Take some clay. All right. And apply it carefully on the roof. This way. Sue, I got a question. Yes, Sammy, tell me. Maleficent is a fairy, right? Well, yeah. Sue! What? Shouldn't fairies be small and invisible? Oh. According to some legends, fairies aren't tiny creatures but invisible spirits who can transform into people. Even small fairies can become big if they want. Yeah, no, Sue. You are suspiciously well aware of fairies. Are you one of them by any chance? Oh, it's possible, Sammy. How do you think I got magic craft powers? <laughs> Huh, it's still strange. Why didn't I notice it before? Huh. I'm gonna prepare treats. Yes, our guests might be hungry after the trip. Guys, do you believe in fairies? Give a thumbs up down there if you do. First, I advise you to cut out the windows and the door because the clay sets very quickly. And later, you won't be able to change anything. Let's make a little window in the front door. Carefully, this stage needs patience. To smooth the surface, wet your hands in water. Or sprinkle some water with a spray bottle. Would you like a jelly? Oh, thanks, Sammy. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. What? What are you up to, Sam? That's strange. Anyway, let's continue covering the house with clay. Good. And I'll place this here. Sue, so, your favorite color is green, isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Sammy, what are you writing there? I'm doing research. Oh, I guess I got it. Sam's trying to figure out if I'm a fairy. 
Sometimes, I think I might be. My hands are magic, that's for sure. <laughs> I think I can play along with him. In the meantime, we are at the finish line. It's the last tower to be covered! Well, well. <laughs> Your house looks magic. That means she has magic skills. Guys, check out the hotel we made! Let's cut out a few more windows. All right, and add some magic. I think I'm on the threshold of a great discovery. Fairies can pretend to be people. Now let's make little logs out of the clay. Just like those you can see in the country or forest houses. I think a forester or a hunter could live in a hut like this. Or a witch. Ooh, right. An old witch cooking her potions and collecting magic herbs. Actually, I wish I had a house in a forest. Oh, she wants to have a house in the forest to make potions! I think he bought it. <laughs> Sammy, can you help me? Yes, Sue, how can I help? Could you make the roof, please? It's easy. Here, I'll show you. Huh, she's very polite and kind. Yes, Sue, sure I can. You should do this. Got it! Look! Something's missing. What do you mean? Looks perfect to me. Susie, you have some fairy dust in your eyes? Frames! You forgot window frames! Oh, Sam! <laughs> right you are. Let's make the window frames. Before, they were just invisible. But now, I'm gonna put a spell and you'll see them all. You can't trick me, Susie. You just forgot them. <laughs> That's right. It's hard to fool you. Let's add some more details. Like this. It'll seem like the basement's made of stone. This way. Oh, I'd like to stay in a house like this, too. Sue, our fairy hotel has so many windows. We can host a whole delegation. By the way, how many fairies are we expecting? Uh, I think around ten. Oh, my feta! So I have to make more treats! Don't worry, Sammy. We have a lot of things. I like the house we made, but that's not all. Here's the most interesting part. Let's make our gray house colorful! Oh, that's my favorite stage. By the way, Sammy, how's your research? Well, I figured out something. That I'm a fairy? So, how did you know? That was secret research! <laughs> you don't hide well, Sammy. I'm not a fairy. Are you sure? You fit in all respects. I am sure. Although there could be fairies in the family. Really? So I was right! <laughs> Maybe. Let's keep coloring the house. Guys, do you like coloring? I love it. I had lots of coloring books when I was little. This is kind of a new level. <laughs> do you want to paint the roof? Coloring roofs is my calling. Would you mind if I help you, Sammy? Nope. I really need your help because I still have to finish one thing. But don't ask me. It's a secret. Oh, okay. I'll finish myself. Your enthusiasm vanishes so quickly. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to turn the notifications on. Tink the bell. Tinkerbell? Are they already here? But, but nothing's ready! Oh, no, Sammy. I just reminded our viewers to subscribe. Phew. I'm having a nervous breakdown. Don't worry. Check out this beautiful house. 
Oh, wow. I'd love to live in a house like this. Oh, sorry, Sam. You won't fit. Will you show me what you prepared? Yep, it's time. should be in a forest. Where can we find a forest? Here! I made a little grove so our guests can feel at home. Wow! <gasps> it's genius, Sammy! You're a very gracious host. You made a great grove. Oh, now it is perfect! Come on, Sue, the fairies are here! Bye, guys! Do you think they'll like it? No doubt. 